Let me introduce you the Starts Federico on-site project at 3DMP. We talk about large-scale metal printing in the context of public art and furniture. First, I would like to talk about uh, working strategy. We have the different partners. We have the artist and the tech producer, which is me and 3DMP, but we also have an external consultant, Tom Paslovsky, which is a researcher in robotic design and, and production, and this is our research team. The methodology is we try to create a short feedback loop. This short feedback loop is an evolution between a proposal, a prototype, and uh, the feedback that comes from the prototype. This will generate different research elements. In this diagram, you can see how our first loop, A1, will bring us to a new proposal, A2, and so on. For proposal A, we would like to use the three-axis machine, work with a parametric design, base it on a variable building bring and its multiple use. It should also work at multiple scales, have different outputs from design to architecture, and we also develop a custom CAT tool. Inspiration come from nature, architecture, pop culture and engineering. For the design we use a parametric design strategy starting from a surface which can be variable to a procedure to develop the output which is the printing data and the post-processing data and the visualization to see the object in real. This is um, a first version as we would like to work on different scales and so we are now at the scale of a public art object in the context of public furniture. The second scale is the large one which is more something about architecture or public art installations. Before we can go to prototyping we need to find solutions to have this object printed knowing that the three-axis machine is limited to an overhang of 30 degrees, which is the blue area needs to have a support. This is this first prototype. The feedback from this first prototype is the following one. Can we find a more innovative way to go over to 30 degrees overhang limitation? Proposal A2 is um, the use of a variable geometry to avoid this uh, 30 degrees surface overhang by modifying the geometry. Here we have the second prototype, but we would like still to have other solutions. So we have some new proposals from those first two testing prototypes. And the first one would be to print uh, a scaffolding, which would be also uh, the element to create the, the surface geometry and the printing support. The second printing strategy would be that the contour would also create the support for the printing. Proposal B, we try to, to stay within the existing printing limitations. The design should be a modular, modular element and we try to have a commercial output from this. So here you can see the object, which is a bench, and the different views from it. Thank you for listening and let me thank all the people involved in this project. I hope we have some nice results in a couple of months.